Hello, this is Sebastian from Native Instruments. In this video, we will provide an overview of the browsing functions on your Tractor Control S8 hardware controller. This video will focus on the operation of the controller guided by the displays of the hardware unit and not the computer screen. First, make sure your controller is connected and powered up. Then, launch Tractor. Make sure you have installed Tractor version 2.7.0 or later. If the installation of the Tractor software is required, please check the article linked in the About section of this video. Now, we are going to show you the basics of browsing based on the hardware displays of your Tractor Control S8. First, an empty display will prompt you to load a track. To enter the Browse view, push down either the left or right browse encoder. This will display the main folder of your Tractor browser, including the track collection, on the display next to the encoder you just pushed. Alternatively, you can enable the option Auto Open Browser on Touch in the Tractor Control S8 menu of Tractor's Preferences in order to toggle the browse view simply by touching the browse encoder. Disable this option to return to the normal browsing mode. In this video, we will focus on the Track Collection folder. Make sure that it is selected and then push down the encoder once more to enter it. In case you want to leave the current subfolder and go back to the previous folder level, press the back button below the browse encoder. Note that the back button will be lit in orange and the view toggle button will flash to indicate that you're currently in the browser view. Once you're in the track collection, select one of the subfolders and press the encoder to access it. Here we are accessing the All Tracks folder. In this folder, you are able to browse your tracks and load them to the decks. The folder view that contains only tracks, in our case all tracks, has a fixed column order. It goes from left to right as follows. Title, Artist, BPM, Key, Rating and Import Date. You can sort the folder in ascending order by any of these six categories. To do this, turn the leftmost knob in the performance control area to either left or right. The sorting category will appear on the screen. Let go of the knob to apply the sorting by the category you selected. In order to return to default sorting, turn the encoder until you hit the empty category and then release the knob. In order to load a track, first select it by turning the browse encoder. The currently selected track will be highlighted in blue. Once you have chosen your track, push down the encoder to load it to the corresponding deck. If you wish to load the track onto the opposite deck, press the browse encoder of the other deck. Now the folder will display its content on the other display. Push down the browse encoder to load your track. It will be displayed on the deck and its waveform will be rendered. You can now press play to begin playback. Note that while the track is playing, you can toggle back to Browse View by pressing the Browse Encoder again. The track will continue playing as you navigate your folders. If you wish to return to the track view on your hardware display, press the View Toggle button. Alternatively, you can press and hold the Back button. Please note that if you were to select another track and push down the browse encoder, the track deck that is currently playing would stop and the selected song would be loaded. In order to prevent from accidentally loading a track to a playing deck, make sure to enable the option Loading only into Stop Deck in the Loading menu of Tractor's Preferences. Now, when you try to load a track into a playing deck, Tractor will display a message stating that the deck is locked. Next, we are going to explain how to load a remix set. First of all, make sure that at least one deck is set to Remix Deck. You can only change the flavor of a deck to Remix Deck within the software. For this, click on the letter of the corresponding deck and select Remix Deck from the drop-down menu. 
In this video, we are using the standard layout, with the Remix deck set to C and D. Next, make sure that the deck focus on your S8 is set to Remix deck C. You can switch the deck focus by hitting the deck button on the lower corners of your controller. You will notice that the color of the deck button will change between white and blue as you press it. When lit white, the focus is on the lower deck C, which is our Remix deck. Now go back to the Track Collection folder and choose All Remix Sets. Select one of the Remix Sets and push down the encoder to access it. Now the display will show the actual Remix Set and all the samples it contains. Please note that only the top entry in the folder represents the entire Remix Set itself. You should only load this one. If you try to load any of the other entries, nothing will load to the Remix deck. Once the Remix set has been loaded, the pads on the transport control area will light up in the color which corresponds to each individual Remix deck sample. Now the display will also show the details of the Remix deck. Please also note that if your focus is on track deck, loading the actual Remix set entry on the top of the list won't do anything. However, you will be able to load individual Remix deck samples onto the track decks. Now you can put your laptop aside and browse away comfortably directly on your Tractor Control S8 hardware controller.